Well, thank you everyone for coming to what now, as I like to joke, after one it's an annual tradition, but now it's number four. So welcome to our fourth annual PRI California Ideas in Action Conference. I'm Tim Anaya, PRI's Senior Director of Communications and the Director of PRI's Sacramento office. And we can't thank you all enough for coming today for what I think is going to be our best program yet. We have some exciting speakers and very interesting topics that we're uh, going to discuss today. So to kick things off, I'd like to introduce uh, PRI's uh, President, CEO, and Thomas W. Smith Fellow in Healthcare Policy, Sally Pipes. Well, thank you all for coming. And I first want to give a shout out to Tim and Aya and Laura Dannerbeck, who've done such a fabulous job of organizing uh, our fourth annual conference today. So please give them a round of applause. It was just two years ago this week when PRI last gathered here in Sacramento. And you put, it was pouring rain, now you've put on a beautiful day. They knew we were coming back. Um, little did we know that it would be the last major event we held in person in Sacramento before the pandemic took over our lives. We're so fortunate today that California is finally turning the page on COVID-19, and I hope there are no reversals and that we can gather together um, again in person. February 2020 seems like absolute ages ago, given that all we've had to endure. While California is in many ways a much different place today than it was in 2020, many of the things that we worry about and study are still the same. Think about the issues we discussed last time we met. Rising homelessness, underperforming schools, lack of economic opportunity for many, the prospect of a complete government takeover of our healthcare system. These problems are still front and center and have in many cases grown. California is known as a golden state, but to me it doesn't seem very golden these days. California may be a state of problems, but it is a state worth fighting for. And one recent policy victory shows that when we present the facts, we will win. Just a few weeks ago, progressive Democrats were pushing their so-called CalCare, uh, the uh, Assembly Bill 1400, for a complete government takeover of our health care system. This would have meant there would be no Medicare, no Medi-Cal, there'd be no private insurance, and we'd be all under the umbrella of the state government. And the estimated annual cost? $391 billion a year, and our total state budget is around $246 billion. And as part of that funding mechanism, as John Kapal knows, $163 billion in new taxes, $12,250 new taxes for the average household in this state. I and others at PRI worked overtime educating the people of California about what single payer would mean for them. Higher out-of-pocket costs, less access to doctors and specialists as many would retire early or move out of state, and people like me would have to become a medical tourist and go to Nevada or Arizona for my health care. Fewer health care choices, longer wait times. I'm Canadian. The average wait last year in Canada from seeing a primary care doc to treatment by a specialist, 25.6 weeks, half of a year, and lower quality care. In the end, the sponsors of AB 1400 were forced to throw in the towel before a full assembly vote on January 31st because Ash Kalra, the main sponsor of the bill, knew he didn't have the votes. The nurses union is furious about this, with this decision, and even Speaker Anthony Rendon, who pulled uh, SB 562 in 2017 because it was woefully incomplete, said he was very disappointed. The governor did not support AB 1400, and I think it was probably because he was worried about his re-election chances. So he said he, ha he, didn't, he wasn't shown the bill, and so therefore he couldn't support it, and he was waiting for the results of the Healthy California Com Healthcare for All Commission results. The more California lear Californians learned about CalCare, the less they liked it. Democratic Assembly members want to be re-elected by their constituents. Despite another big loss for single payer in the California, progressives, progressives have said, this is not the end, it will be back, they will fight till they finally get it. 
If and when they do, PRI will be there, God willing, I'll still be here, um, to counter them with the facts and the real life horror stories of patients in Canada and the UK who have suffered under single payer care. Our victory on AB 1400 shows that we can achieve free market policy victories in the state despite the long odds and with the Dems having a supermajority in both houses here in Sacramento. Last summer, PRI published Saving California, edited by our Steve Greenhut, um, a terrific uh, piece of um, multiple essays, very, very excellent. Our goal was simple, bringing together California's top free market minds to offer market-based policy reforms to help restore the luster in our state. Today's conference builds on the themes in our book, Saving California. The speakers you'll hear from today are people with deep expertise in their respective policy areas. Policy experts, elected officials, and people making change every day. Their ideas are not pie in the sky solutions, but are realistic reforms that would put the state back on a better track. We're so pleased to have the Honorable Anne Marie Schubert as our keynote speaker as she just takes a bite, but she doesn't have to speak yet. <laughs> She has been such an effective public safety champion as Sacramento County DA. She gained national attention for her efforts cracking down on billions of EDD fraud. It was the EDD that turned down my application to be able to get an H-1B visa in California back in like 1993. So I don't have any, anything, any friendship with the EDD, but great job. And you brought gold, um, the Golden State Killer to justice. So fantastic, we're really looking forward to your remarks. It's long past time that policymakers put a stop to, as the title of Carrie Jackson's PRI book suggests, people living in fear in California. And we look forward to hearing your thoughts on what can be done to address rising crime in our communities. After lunch, we will have three very interesting uh, uh, panel discussions. First, we'll learn about the CEQA gauntlet the bureaucracy and regulations that must be conquered to build anything, and how reforms can pave the way for new housing, schools, and infrastructures. And wait till you see Dana Beagle's chart that will be up here. If you thought Obamacare looked complicated or Hillary Care, just wait till you see this sequence chart. It's absolutely amazing. Then we're going to explore California's growing out migration problem and what can be done to keep businesses jobs and opportunities from leaving for other states. Finally, we'll discuss how wildfires, drought, and power blackouts are contributing to a perfect storm in Northern California and Central California, and how policy reforms can better protect residents, property, and our forests. And to close out the day, Steve Greenhut will share some closing thoughts on how free market ideas can save California. At PRI, we work every day to inspire policymakers and all Californians to advocate for the reforms that are so desperately needed in our state. We want to put the gold back in the golden state. That's why we're here today holding our annual policy conference right across the street from the People's House, our state capital. We hope you'll take what you learned today and go back to your communities to advocate for much needed change. Thank you once again for coming. Lunch will now be served, and then Lance will be um, introducing our keynote speaker, the Honorable Anne-Marie Schubert. So thank you all, and have a great conference.